This video is on the multi-stage counter-current leaching. So for multi-stage uh, counter-current leaching, usually we are required to determine the amount of uh, composition uh, and also the number of stages required. So uh, for both uh, underflow and also the overflow. This is uh, the typical uh, diagram to show the process of multi-stage counter-current leaching. So if you can see here, okay, uh, the difference uh, is mostly on the notation. For the inlet fit solid here, okay, we label it as the uh, L0 and also the Y0 for the uh, composition of solute A. And for the inlet leaching solvent, we label it as uh, Vn plus 1 and also the Sn plus 1. So usually uh, there is no B, okay, so there is no B or solid inside the inlet liquid or inlet solvent and if there is a statement uh, telling you that the solvent using a pure solvent is means that usually the Sn plus 1 is equal to 0. Alright, so this is the uh, three equation that we have discussed before, okay, the mass balance equation. We have a total solution balance. A component balance and uh, solid balance. These three equations are used uh, usually used to determine the coordinates. Okay, because uh, in order for us to find the number of stages later, we need to determine the coordinate of the L naught, V n plus one, L n and V one. And in order for us to determine the coordinate for uh, to determine the coordinates, we need to perform these uh, three types of equation. Okay, right now, uh, if you look up into the next slide, these are the steps involved, okay, to uh, determine the number of stages required. And um, uh, uh, so what's important here, okay, the first one is that you need to have a graph, you need to put a graph of uh, N versus uh, S, A, N, Y, M. Okay, so uh, usually the information on the tie line, which is the, N, sorry, not the tie line, okay, the information of the N versus YA is given. So, uh, in, uh, whether it's a constant, maybe the, you, just, you just have a straight line, or if it's the data is tabulated inside the table, then maybe usually you're going to have a big curve line. And beside that, you also need to have the coordinates of this VN plus 1, LN, L0, and also the V1. Alright, so right now we straight away go to the example. Okay, example 12.10-1. So a continuous uh, counter-current multi-stage system is used uh, to leach oil. Okay, so right now we have a component A, which is the oil. We want to extract the oil from meal, which is a B, the solid B, by using the benzene solvent C. So the process is to treat 200 kilogram uh, B. Okay, so this is the information given on the inlet slurry stream. Okay, which is the uh, L0 and uh, you can calculate the L0 and Y0 from this information given here. Alright, so the next is the inlet flow per hour of fresh solvent. Okay, so this uh, sentence will give you the information on the inlet solvent. Okay. In the solvent used to extract the oil from the meal B here, and there's information okay telling you that the leach solids are to contain 120 kilogram oil. Means that in the outlet of the slurry stream, okay, there will be a uh, about 120 kilogram of oil remain inside the uh, solid stream. Alright, so given to you here, okay, you, can, uh, you know that you need to plot the graph of N versus YA and uh, look like that this, is a, uh, this uh, system is not a constant. So, you need to use this uh, data inside the table to plot the line of N versus YA. Alright, now the question asks you, calculate the amounts and concentration of the stream leaving the process, okay, and what is the number of stages required. So, if we sketch the diagram, okay, uh, put a proper label on the inlet and outlet of both slurry stream and solvent, okay, so you can see uh, this is the information given, 
the amount of A, B and C is given. Alright, so straight away we can calculate the value of L0 and Y0. So if you still remember, L0 is the solution which is the amount of A plus C. Okay, so it equals to 850 kilogram A plus C. And once you determine the L0, we can calculate the Y0 which is the A over A plus C. Okay, so uh, that's for L0 and Y0. And for N0, it is, is actually a B over A plus C, which is uh, will give you the value of 2.353. Okay, by solving this one, we can uh, determine the first coordinate of the L0 here. Alright, now for the Vn plus 1, okay, so this is the information given. We have the value of A and C. So eventually we can determine the uh, the value, the coordinates Vn plus 1. So uh, so N, N plus 1 is equal to 0. We have no B. No B inside this uh, inlet uh, solvent stream. But we have the A, which is 20 kilogram. So simply dividing uh, 20 with 13. You get the second coordinate of uh, Vn plus 1, okay, 0 0.015 and 0. Okay, now um, if you look up uh, into the graph, so by right, we are, you need to plot the graph of uh, N uh, versus Sa, Ya. Okay, the first one you need to plot the graph of N uh, versus y a here okay this one is a uh, data tabulated inside the table okay and then you have uh, l naught okay you already determined the value of l naught and uh, this one is a uh, vn plus one okay so you have right now a uh, the line of n versus y a and also two coordinate of uh, vn plus one and l naught so the next step is that in order for us to determine the outlet composition we need to plot the ln. So the rules is that the point ln is lies on the line n versus y. So what we're going to do is that you need to calculate the ratio of nn over yn. So if you look out into the unit of uh, nn over yn, it's actually uh, the unit of a kilogram solid over kilogram oil. And you know the fact is that uh, usually B, okay, to 100 kilogram, there will be no B transfer into the uh, solvent stream. Okay, there is no B uh, transfer inside here. So that the amount of B in the inlet uh, slurry stream usually will be the same. So if the inlet is 2,000 uh, kilogram and the outlet will be 2,000 kilogram, and given to you the information of the amount A, is 120 kilogram. So uh, the ratio of NN over YN is simply uh, B over A. Alright, B over A which is equal to 16.67 uh, uh, kilogram solid over kilogram oil. Okay, so uh, once you have the ratio, uh, you need to extend the VN plus 1, okay, to N versus Y line at this slope. Alright, so you just pick any value of n. Okay, let's say your n is equal to 1. That will give you the y is 0 0.06. So you get this coordinates of 1 and 0 0.06. Alright, so uh, we should give you uh, somewhere here. Okay, so you have the coordinate here. Alright, so you assign the line from Vn plus 1 to Ln. And this point on the n versus y a line will give you the value of ln. Alright, so once you have the value of ln, you can um, uh, determine the composition. Alright, so you know that the, from the graph, you have the value of yn, which is uh, 0 0.115 will be the uh, composition of A inside the outlet uh, slurry stream. Okay, so... Uh, in order for us to find the outlet composition in the uh, uh, solvent stream, you need to uh, find the uh, coordinate M. M. So in, uh, you need to perform a two mass balance equation here, the first one and the second one. Okay, because right now you already have the information on the SAN plus 1. Okay, use this information to solve this uh, two mass balance equation and eventually you get the value of uh, coordinate M 0 0.38 and 0 0.92. 
Okay, the next uh, uh, plot this point M uh, inside your graph and then make a line from LN through M and we'll, that will give you the V1 coordinate. Okay, so from the graph again, you can read what is the uh, value of the SA1, okay, which is 0 0.62, approximately 0 0.62, and that's one corresponding for the amount of, uh, uh, corresponding for a composition of A, okay, inside uh, uh, liquid stream, okay, outlet liquid stream. Okay, so now if you look up into the graph, Alright, so this is the point M, okay, uh, as I said before, I'll click for point M, make an extension line from LN to M until it touch here, and that will give you the corresponding value of V1. From V1, read what is the value of the uh, uh, x-axis, which is about 0 0.62, and that uh, will give you the value of uh, SA1. So again, so once you have the value of S A one, okay, we can perform a mass balance equation. Okay, the one that uh, I show you inside the slide. This is the first equation and second equation, and now you have the value of S A one here. So we can calculate uh, the amount of um, uh, L N and V one inside uh, in the outlet stream. Okay, so uh. Right now we have four coordinates. So for us to determine the n, okay, the number of stages required for this uh, system, you need to make a intersect uh, L not v1 with the ln and vn plus one that will give you a triangle. Okay, uh, four coordinates already. We have a four coordinates ln vn plus one, L not v1, and we we'll give you this. Uh, point of intersection, we label it as a triangle. So the uh, second step is easy, okay. The straight line, uh, make a straight line. From V1 to the N versus Y, you will get the L1. And then from the L1, okay, make a straight line to the triangle, okay. And that will give you, the, that will give you a V2. And then you repeat the same step, okay. Make a straight line from the V2, to the N versus Y line, and then we'll give you L2. Okay, so right now you have uh, from V1 here, start from V1, make a straight line to the N versus Y, that will give you the L1. Make a straight line from L1, okay, to the triangle below, and this intercept will give you the V2. Repeat the step that will give you the L2. So until this value, okay, will exceed the LN here. Okay, so right now, uh, uh, you know that uh, the number of stages required approximately. Okay, so this is the L4, this is the L5. So from this graph, okay, we can uh, determine, okay, the number of stages required to recover a certain uh, oil okay from meal by using the benzene system is approximately about uh, 4.5 stages okay thank you